just got monitors on it. Oh, so that's that's it? It's just right there? Mm -hmm. Is that on the other side? Just one kidney. Well, I, I just thought they were going to put like little holes in her mm -hmm. back and stuff. Mm -mm. Did Jordy say hi to it? What's that for, Ma? Pain medicine. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You want me to press it? Hi, kidney. Hello, kidney. So they took the catheter out? So they probably went into the same hole, huh? Mm -mm. They did a different hole because mm -hmm. in case you have to do it again. They had to cut me here. Oh. Well, they took the catheter out. No more dogs. You're swollen. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no drawers on? She a naked girl, like she likes to be. Mm -hmm. Well, you look good for it to be your first day out. Oh, they talking about they gonna have you walking today, girl. Mm -hmm. Look who's brushing their teeth this morning. Yeah, mama is brushing her teeth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get you, Marsha. Mm -hmm. Look who's not working, guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, Mom. Oh. You can hang the little um, catheter on here if you want. It's easier for you. You want this for support? It's covered, Mo. It's covered. Hey, y'all. It's Mama Bree. Look at these tubes in my neck. Mm. So, I just came to say hello to y'all. Mama Bree is in so much pain. So much pain, y'all. Mm -hmm. I am walking around. I got some cold in my throat. I can't get it out. It's irritating me so bad. I'll be back. Day two, post ops. She got some. She just chilling, y'all. She she doing good. She ain't drowsy as drowsy as yesterday. You know it comes and goes. Yeah. Well, tell the gang how you feeling overall. Hey, hey, gang. I'm feeling. <coughs> I'm still sore. And <coughs> but I'm not, I'm not as drowsy and weary as I was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still just got shortness of breath. Um, a little ashy, that's why I put some lotion on my hands. But other than that, Mama be moving right along. Mm -hmm. Moving along in Jesus' name. And all is well. All is well. Every day is 
It was a good day. Mm -hmm. So y'all please continue to keep me in your prayers. And um, I guess about 75% is working in this kidney. Now we're just trying to, we're waiting to make sure the blood is circulating where it's supposed to be and filtering my blood. So that's coming. In Jesus' name. Love y'all. Right. I can't see it. Well, guys, this Can is what. Can you see it? Mom, I'm sure you got this thing. All right, this is what all she has. So she's got that one hole from the PD, and this right here is the incision. Mm. So, you guys, stay tuned for the healing process. So I just made my little bed over here. So it's been my first night staying with Mama Bree. And this is her second day post op. She's already doing her thing over there. She finally responded back to texts and stuff. So yeah, she doing good, y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. So I know you guys are watching this vlog and you're like, oh, probably a lot of you guys are really emotional right now. I know I'm sweating y'all, I've been moving, but um, I know you guys are probably emotional. This has been a very emotional roller coaster, but it's also very exciting and it's just like a new journey that's about to happened in Mama Bree's life and we're so excited for her. I'm just so happy for her because I know how compliant she's been, you know, how obedient she's been with this journey. So it has been really, really good. But again, like I said, we're on day two post-op. Tomorrow is the third day and I think she's going to get the catheter out and, you know, stuff like that. She's already walking and she did four laps today, which is really good for her to be on day two. So yeah that's that y'all we'll see y'all when we you know tomorrow and we'll, we'll just vlog every day while we're here and then when we go home we'll vlog all of that so super exciting with that we put in that balloon to keep it in place oh mm -hmm. or oh, a little stint oh not but no stint. i'm sorry balloon yeah it's a little balloon that goes in that keeps it in place so it won't slide out oh, oh. all right you ready no ursula what? It, I'm telling you, it's just it usually be just like a little pinch, and that's it. So it's done. It's done. Hallelujah. <laughs> My heart to feel like like something coming out. Oh yeah. So. It, it, usually they say it don't hurt. It just feels like a pinch or like pressure yeah. of removing something. Look, y'all. So we on day three, post op day three, and look who is in regular clothing lotion in my arms because i can't stand being ashy yes she done took her bath she probably she got she done did her hair brush her teeth she moving in and she ain't take no pain medicine today so that's a plus she's doing it she's doing it y'all she's a fighter now what pain medicine so today is day three of transplant and she's doing really really good y'all they took the catheter out see if she could pee on her own Ooh, ooh. <coughs> Anything you want to say, Moon? I'm still sore. Mm -hmm. Still have the shortness of breath. But overall, I've given God the praise in the midst of, because I know He's still working out in my good. I love y'all. <laughs> Her first pee by herself, guys. <laughs> And Rachel's like, no, don't show this part. Hi, Miss. <laughs> you want the direct one? I want to hear it. <laughs> You're extra. I know.
What's your name? Judy. Judy, could you explain to me what's going to happen with this? Yes, so we're going to take your blood out. It's about a unit at a time, like 250 to 300 ml. And it goes through the, through the blood pump, down through the dialyzer, through the filters, through the fibers in the dialyzer. They're hollow, mm -hmm. and the blood travels through the hollow fibers, and the dialysate, the solution that cleans the blood, mm -hmm. surrounds the fibers, bathes the fibers. And the toxins and the fluid shift through the fibers into the dialysate, and it goes down the drain. The waste products go down the drain. We do that over and over for four hours, and um, you process somewhere between 60 and 70 units of blood in the course of the treatment. Okay. So, you shouldn't feel anything. If we take too much fluid, you may feel a cramp, so let us know. But I don't think that uh, that will be a problem. Okay. And we don't want to do too much because we don't want to make your kidney too lazy. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit of a delicate dance okay. between getting you feeling good and your toxins out and getting it, you know, giving that kidney time to work. Okay. But what we do doesn't help your kidney work. It just helps your blood get clean. Okay. So one of those tools is going to be coming out and one is going to go back it, in. Exactly. Although the catheter, the catheter on the inside has two holes. They're not right up next to each other. One is further than the other. Uh -huh. And... Uh, one pulls and one returns, although it's all in the same vein. Okay. Well, you can have an access in your arm. One is attached, one end is attached to an artery and one end is attached to a vein. Okay. This right here is an access you can't go home with because it's temporary. It's not tunneled up right. under the skin. So it's just for use while you're in the hospital. Tell me when it start. Oh yeah, you started. Oh, uh, start. Mhm. Mm so I don't see no blood coming out of this. You got your oh yeah, this one right here. Oh. And this one is clear until Let's until the blood comes back from the dialysis. So now both of them are, are, so now it's coming back. Right. And as it's coming back, more is coming out. Mm-hmm. Taking a little nap.
good that you video it because then you know it's something for you to refer back to too. Mm -hmm. I need to take your mask off. So I'm done now? You're done. So when they check your hemoglobin tomorrow, it'll probably be lower than lower than it was today. Right. Because you lost this blood in the line. But I'm gonna report it to your nurse as well, is documenting it on our paper because I lost all that? I don't, yeah, it's about hundred MLs. It's really not too much. It looks like a lot. But it does, because it's mixed with saline. Oh, goodness gracious. And, um... Whew. Because I don't want them to think you're bleeding somewhere. So I'm going to okay. make, make sure she knows about it, that you have blood loss, that your hemoglobin is going to be low, but you have blood loss here, you're not bleeding somewhere. Okay. Seeing that you're post-surgery.